Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and the idols of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. And um, uh, I just wanted to just uh, do a quick video um, showing the, uh, the prayers that I uh, spoke about in my uh, uh, recent live stream that I just did, um, entitled prepare i uh, be prepared for the coming events um you know i, I was uh trying to quote um the uh prayers but i may have uh, mixed it up so uh through the spirit i just wanted to and a brother had asked me to you know posted it um so i just figured i'd just do a video um just on the prayers because i have them um i have them uh, screenshotted so I just want to read this here because we know that us, you know, we being Hebrew Israelites, right, our, um, you know, language, right, the Lashawan Kodash, the pure tongue is Hebrew. And as it says here in Sirach, the prologue, uh, going to the point, it says, for the same, uh, let me start at a little bit up. It says, uh, wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us. Wherein we may have we may seem to come short of some words which have which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. OK, so the force now, of course, you know. <clears throat> excuse me of course you know uh when we pray um you know we're not fluent in uh speaking hebrew but you know we should um endeavor to try to uh you know at least uh pray you know in hebrew and you know have certain prayers where you can um recite and remember in hebrew because as it says here um you know uh, things translated have not the same force in them, right? And us being Hebrew Israelites and that being the, the, the pure language, you know, that being the language of the heavens, you know, uh, we want to, you know, to the best of our ability, try to, um, you know, pray to the Heavenly Father in Hebrew. Now, you know, of course, when you're just meditating or, you know, you may be asking the Most High for certain uh, things, you may not know the, uh, how to say it in Hebrew. And of course, the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahushai knows your heart. But um for these uh certain prayers I have, um, I have them in the Hebrew, so I will show them, right? And I will um say them so you can, you know, uh hear how to pronounce it. So this is the prayer I was speaking about. Uh one of the prayers I have in my notes. Uh prayer for our hour of temptation, right? Our hour temptation. <laughs> and I forgot exactly uh, where or who I got this uh, prayer from. But nonetheless, this is a, definitely a prayer that you want to pray uh, now as we're getting closer and closer to the hour of temptation, closer and closer to uh, Jacob's trouble. You know, you want your prayers to be um, um, heard, you know, uh, uh, and have an, you want to have an audience in the, you know, in the in the sight of the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Ba'ashem Yahawashai, right? Um, as it says in the book of Sirach also that the prayers of, you know, the righteous, it, it pierceth the clouds, okay? And, and also in James, that the prayers of a, a, of a righteous man availeth much. So, you know, when you're praying, you know, you want to pray for spiritual gifts, okay? And, and protection. So this is the, the prayer for our temptation, it says ha kawan naya which is prepare me labya which is my mind machat shab wathya machab shab wathya my thoughts ba yimya and the in days of why evil wahasha and the hour hamasathya temptation okay so i'm going to say it in the hebrew uh, straight forward, straight through. Hakawana ya labya machashabwathya bayimya rai wahasha ai 
Hamasathia, which is prepare me, my thoughts, my um, prepare me, my mind, my thoughts in the days of evil and the hour of temptation. And you want your you want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to, to you know spiritually prepare you in your mind, you know, give you that mental fortitude, um, and that spiritual fortitude, so that when we go through this hour of temptation, which the scripture says will come upon all the world to try them, we're um, you know, ready for that. All right. And of course, as Yahweh Shai said, <coughs> Yahweh Shai said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I would also keep thee in the hour of temptation. All right. And and that really starts. You know, with your mind, because you don't want to, you know, bug out. Because if you start to bug out, if you start to fear, then you're going to react based off of that. And the reaction that you have based off of fear and bugging out is is only going to lead to your demise because it's going to be a, a carnal reaction. Okay, and we want to maintain, uh, you know, our spiritual, um, you know, uh, fortitude during these times. So this is something that, you know, we should be praying for daily, right? That the Lord can strengthen your mind and prepare your mind in the days of evil and the hour of temptation. Now I have another prayer uh, for Jacob's trouble. Um, I'll keep this like this. It says, Yahweh, and of course, <coughs> in, a, in, a, in a previous prayer, you want to start off with Yahweh Basha and Yahweh Shai. Um, and then, you know, say the prayer and then, you know, you can add Baba Kasha, which is please. And then you can add the water, which is thank you. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Amen, which is so be it. So I didn't have those there, but you know, that should be uh, a given. But in this one, um, I'm going to read the top first, which is the, the Hebrew. It says, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalak, Mahar, Mashapat, Al, Babal, Wakal, Adawamyam wa Izar Izar Nawa, which is um actually I'll read it, keep reading through by Yaikwab Tazar Babakusha 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 Thawada Aman. So I'll read it again. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Shalak Mahar Mashapat Al Babal Wakal Adawanyam Wa Izar Nawa Izar Nawa by Yaikwab Tazar Babakusha, 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 the water, Amen, which is Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, send swift judgments upon Babylon and all Edomites and help us in Jacob's trouble. Please, 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 the water, which is thank you, Amen. Now, for me, when I you know say this prayer, I change the Izar Nawa, which is help us. Uh, I just make it a singular for me. So I say Izar Yah. Uh, help me, but you know you can say Azar Nawa, you can say Azaria, um, but that's just something I I personally do. Um, but you know, once again, knowing that Jacob's trouble is um, upon us, as the elder apostle Tahar coined this year, the whole full year of Jacob's trouble, we know that as it says, um, that day is great and none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he is the elect. And the, when the ones, like I said in the video, the elect are going to do a like things. And a part of that is praying that the Lord helps you in the Jacob's trouble. Right. Praying that the Lord delivers you in Jacob's trouble because he said he is going to deliver certain ones out of it. And that is going to be who the elect. So that's just something that we should be praying, you know, that the Lord does for us. So, um, you know, I just wanted to show these two. Um, Prayers, you know, Lord willing, you know, you can take a screenshot of this and then you could um, have it for yourself. And then, you know, say these prayers, you know, when you, you know, incorporate these prayers in your in your, in your daily uh, prayers, because as we know that we're in these times. So these things are something that we should be beseeching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to do for us. Uh, so, you know, with that, Shalom.